Hey y'all, welcome to another pick a card reading. Um, so today we're going to be asking the question uh, for singles, um, what's next in your love life? So with me today, the stones uh, that I'm going to have you guys pick from. Uh, choice number one is the blue stone. Um, choice number two is the green stone. Choice number three is the white stone. And the rose quartz, the pink stone, is choice number four. So you can sit with it for a moment, meditate, just, you know, process which choice you would like to choose. And whenever you're ready, make your choice and we'll get started. So, if you chose the blue stone, this is your reading. Alrighty, so this is your reading, pile number one. So, with the unrequited love card, I can see that you're in a bit of a weird to bad place when it comes to your love and romantic life. Now, again, this is for singles, so if you're in a relationship watching this, oh, that's weird. Um, but anyways, uh, you're in a weird place in regards to your love life. Maybe there is just a lack of any sort of love life in the first place. Um, maybe you've just been in a really kind of low moment for a bit. Uh, maybe you've been single for a while, but um, you're just not happy with where you are right now. Um, but I do think see that things are going to change so we have the ten of cups the ten of pentacles the magician and the two of pentacles now uh this new person that is coming into your life whether you're male or female whether you're looking for male or female doesn't matter this new person that's going to come to come into your life is going to come um they're going to come because of a change um either you're going to make a choice to travel to move because at the bottom of you know this deck we have the world right here if you can see it if you can't i apologize um and the world tends to mean either completion um traveling to a different state different country now i know due to situations right now things aren't looking that you know great so you may be just traveling to a different city whatever the case or this person can simply just be from a different background um but whatever the case may be there's going to be a choice that needs to be made um you may have to change jobs because we have the ten of pentacles and pentacles tend to work with money and money correlates with the job so you may have to switch jobs um by you know switching locations you may you know get relocated for your job or something like that or you may just decide to switch careers or whatever the case may be. But it's going to come um, soon. This is a change that's going to come into your life soon. Because beneath the Ten of, the ten of Pentacles, uh, beneath the Two of Pentacles, we have the Four of Air, um, which is the Four of Swords. And Swords is fast-moving energy. So um, the Four of Swords tends to be this very balancing, calm energy. When you see the Four of Swords, it's like this resting period after... A whole bunch of stuff so um this tells me that this change is going to bring about some harmony in your life it's going to bring about peace it's going to bring about clarity and it's going to come pretty quickly because source is a fast moving energy now uh this is something you've been working to manifest because we have the magician and then we also have clarifying it is wisdom now what i find really interesting with these you know two um cards is if you look at it they kind of look like they could be counterparts in a way because the magician is you know he's raising his hands up well, one of his hands up at least and he's trying to conjure something but in the traditional tarot the, tra the magician has like a wand uh, the cups the pentacles all that all laid out and she's kind of has that same stance of like this manifestation type of stance if you if that makes any sense and so I feel like this person that you're going to bring be bringing in is your counterpart, whether you're male or female. Um, that is also clarified with this card right here, the 
it's Mod Modon, Modon, whatever, but I usually just, like I said, I go with intuition with these cards. Um, it's clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. So I do feel like you're going to be coming in contact with this person either through a new line of work, um, maybe just, you know, a new place. You may move into a new home because the Ten of Pentacles does represent, you know, stability at the home. So you may move into a new place and they may be living in the same place, um, same, obviously same city, but or you know wherever you need to or this person may be coming towards you that that may be the case they may be switching jobs and coming towards you they may be go undergoing this change that's another thing that can happen um they may be dealing with the, this brand new start and you know they they're you know feeling their love lives or because this, this can go both ways but regardless of the situation um you two will be, I feel like you guys will be from different worlds, different backgrounds, because with this card, you can see like you have this really dark, dirty area here, and then you have this green grass, peaceful area here. So I feel like you guys come from two different worlds. It could be psychologically, it could be just in general, um, it could be emotionally, whatever the case. Um, and this person like you may be an outgoing person this person may be more into into themselves they may be more introverted or, or you could be more introverted they could be more extroverted but um they you balance each other out like you guys give each other um it's like it's like that pair that you're like i don't understand the they it's just, like, you wouldn't expect them to work so well together but they do um so you would be that pair where people would be like i don't i didn't think they would work as well as they do together but they do um because you guys come from different worlds like you know maybe people in your family may not be accustomed to usually seeing you you know their other members dating outside of their ethnicity um but you guys will flow so well together that it would seem flawless um this person um, may have kids, you may have kids, or you guys just may have a very childlike nature and will bring that childlike fun and childlike um, experience, this newness to the relationship. Um, because we have the children card clarifying these, you know, the cards, uh, it's clarifying <laughs> the four of air and the two of pentacles. Um, and we also have you deserve love and stay optimistic about your love life. So that's why I figured at the beginning you were kind of in like with me in my place when it comes to love and romance where you're just like nothing's happening i don't know what's going on it's just dead i get like it's probably because of this virus and everything like that but jesus i mean it's dead um so um yeah now for those you know you who are like my masculine watchers male watchers or, you know, women who more resonate with the masculine, doesn't matter. Um, there, underneath, I feel like there's going to be either an older woman who is going to introduce this person to you, this young lady to you, or she may be the person you may be going after a, you know, you may be dating an older woman. Uh, because we have the mother of earth. She's more, I would see she's more in her, you know, maybe mid 30s to um late 40s if, if, if we'll say that now if you're my age it would be more of an older woman but if you're you know if you're watching this and you're in your 30s or 40s you know they are you guys are around the same age so this you know that that's that's what that is um but if you're around my age and you're watching this you would probably be dating someone a little older than you or this person could be someone who is going to introduce you to their daughter um and you know it it is what it is from there um now if you're a woman watching this uh, which majority of my viewers are um this is a woman that is going to introduce you to this person and she may be your mother uh you may meet his mother if you're like i said the feminine so it's more going towards the masculine um regardless of what you know who you want to you know, who you date who you who you love um i feel like this older woman is going to have some influence either it might be your boss it might be his mom it might be you know his aunt i don't know but this older woman uh earth sun uh capricorn uh taurus and god virgo <laughs> that i am not forgetting that. um 
yeah she, so the mom or the boss whatever but this woman of authority and i feel like she does have some sort of authority she will be in charge of bringing you two together now i'm never one to say to really do the whole timing thing because the thing with timing is that um it's in constant flux and reflux you don't like i can tell you it can happen in three days and something happens where life just decides to happen it happened in like i don't know six weeks um and that happens like with this whole like you probably and it's it's kind of it's it's not a and here's the thing that we also i want to also put in with timing because i'm learning this myself when things get delayed it's never even if it really seems like it's like you like what if i did something to delay it no 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 there was probably something that happened that was out of your control that had to get fixed before you guys came into union so it's nothing you did wrong it's nothing that you had any control over but something that it was just something that was it was if you watch my previous videos it's like the the train on your way to work like you didn't do anything for the train to get on the tracks and you didn't know the train was going to be at that point at that time but there it was so um anyways so yeah i do see a new love coming into your life it will come you know this person will come into your life whenever there's a big change um uh, whenever um there's a change in your career or change in your move the way you live um but there's a change at some point which is going to bring a lot of peace and harmony into your life so stay optimistic i know things are boring right now things are dull but it will get better trust me you coming from a person that that's dealing with the same type of struggle right now things are going to get better and i feel like you're going to have fun in this relationship i feel like this person is going to bring a lot of joy a lot of happiness into your life they're going to give you a fresh perspective because i feel like this is you here whether you're a male female i feel like you're in the dark in the doldrums in the darkness and they're in this like happy place in this like in their you know in their tranquil zone or in a better place than you may be at the current moment and they'll kind of like show you the brighter side to life you know the more fun because i feel like if you're like me you're more of the serious type you're more of like structure work you know just the routine things you you normally do but this person's more of like you know let's go out let's go do this let's go do that and if you're not that person you're more of the extroverted person this person's going to be more of the like i'm just i just kind of like being in my own space so um but they are i see that they are open to trying new things so they wouldn't like if you wanted to go do something they wouldn't completely shut it off but if they ever got to a point where they would feel uncomfortable they would let you know but besides that i feel like you two will mesh well together you guys will have a very happy playful relationship and this is something that's going to be long lasting with the world is you know completion and you have the ten of cups and ten of pentacles there so if you have these two things in there plus you got the world this is something that's going to last um it's going to be something that's going to be long term and can you know i i don't want to say it is going to lead to marriage because if you're not looking for marriage <laughs> marriage ain't going to come um but if you are if this is what you're looking for if that's your you know your end goal and you want the, the the marriage the kids the house everything this is that reading you have the children here you have the ten of cups ten of pentacles you you have the world you have you know you have all the stability it's just there's just this movement of energy that has to take place this change that has to take place and like i said i don't think it's going to take too long the four of air um it's not a very long waiting card this may happen within a month it may happen within two months you know around that area three months you know if you're lucky um but and i'm saying that in a very sarcastic way um but yeah you're gonna be fine i your love life will get better stay optimistic and the, that is my message for um stone choice pile number one <laughs> let's move on to choice number two so if you chose the green stone this is your reading Alrighty, hey. So, for those of you who chose the green stone, here's your reading. So, um, I looked at the cards for a bit, and from what I gathered, um, for those of you um, who picked this pile, you are going to have a choice in your love life. And this choice is going to be between someone from your past or someone new. Um... We have at the bottom of the deck, stay optimistic about your love life. So this ex, um, this person's from your past. They can be your recent past, distant past. 
um regardless um the person that you know from your past when i say that the person that comes to mind that's who we're talking about um they are going to return into your life and to clarify that um we have the reconciliation card but we also have the three of cups so that tells me that um there will be a reunion with someone from your past um but we also have the release your ex card so this person um from your past um you know they may be an ex if they are an ex um you know you have a choice to release them now another scenario that i i thought about was that let's say these people are both from your past but one's an ex and the other one isn't and you're trying to make a decision whether you know who, which one to be with um i feel like these people are going to come back into your life um but you're going to have to make a decision on whether to release your ex or you know or and be with this other person or be with this other per be with your ex and release this other person um but i feel like you are going to choose to release your ex because it's the card that is you know in front of uh you deserve love so i feel like you're going to choose to release your ex but you're probably going to end up rec reconciling with that other person from your past or you, this may be somebody that you just recently met and you probably have a bit of a you know falling out or whatever it may be and there may be a recollection whatever the case is you know it's different for everybody this could be somebody completely new you choosing to you know um you know this could be you meeting up with your ex to reconcile but you know just find that closure because you are going you, you are choosing a new direction that could be that but i do see a new love coming into your life i do see love coming into your life because we have the ace of swords clarifying that we have the ace of water ace of cups and this person if you are the feminine um this person is a very stable person he is a very you know he has money he's a very wealthy person he may he may be rich he may just be comfortable whatever the case he's good financially um what else am i looking at here um he's very fair um, he's, he is very, very um, accomplished in his job because we have the Six of Wands with the Justice card, King of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. So he's very accomplished um, if you're the feminine, if you're, if you're the feminine looking for the masculine. Now, if you're the masculine um, looking towards the feminine, this girl is, I want to say she is popular. And she has a very strong and influential mother. Um, if she's not popular, uh, she's well known to some degree. And her mom is very influential because we have the crone of water and the mother of water. Um, clarifying that we have the world and the ace of water. Now, these people are very emotional people. Um, the mother is more of like, she's more in touch with her emotions. She's more... You know, she knows how to handle her emotions where the, the the daughter is more of, you know, like she can be emotional. She's at times she can be moody at times, but she's getting a grip on, you know, her emotional maturity. Um, but she does have some sort of status because I do have the world card. And if you look at this card closely, everyone's looking at this person and she's in the same stance as the mother of water. And like I said, I have the Ace of Water clarifying the Ace of Swords. So this person is going to be a huge victory. This new person or, you know, or this, you know, whoever this person may be. Um, they're going to be a huge victory. They're going to be someone you're really going to love. Um, but that's if you choose to release your ex. Um, but again, I feel like your ex will come back. And if that is something you feel like you still have to deal with, then you know you you'll deal with your you, you just deal with your ex but i feel like this person that you're going to meet this next person and if i had to say timing i wouldn't say it's too long um pretty quickly because you have the ace of swords the ace of cups and we have the six of wands we have a lot of uh, we have water and fire a little bit of earth 
you know, a bit of a mixed bag. Um, but I do feel like in, in some air. So we a bit of a mixed bag. So I, I would say that the timing, it can happen. This all can happen all at once. It's probably going to come by surprise. The universe is kind of in charge of this one. Um, but I don't think it's going to happen like like a year or so from now. Like I don't think it's going to be that long. Like Maybe like about two months, a month, um, three months tops. But you're going to have to make a choice between this new person who's very successful. They're very accomplished. Um, both of them, both whether they're the, the male or female, they're both very accomplished people. Um, I feel like the guy is more of an older male. He's more of a, um, he's more in, he's more of this like he's the CEO of this company, or he's the um, the boss of what he's doing, or you know he's in charge. Whereas the female, um, she may be, you know, she may have her own company, she may have her own things. Um, she but she she's more well known she's more she has you know she i'm pretty sure she's wealthy you know with the with the you know with the world you know i'm pretty sure she has some sort of wealth to her um you know she may be she may be you know famous for all and i don't know you know everyone's different but um this new person yeah she, if you're if you're the masculine looking for the feminine this girl has a um she's more um she's very open-minded she's very well-rounded um but she's very very close to her mom she's very close to her mom her mom is is very i wouldn't say controlling but you know her mom tends to has have the last word in the house you know if her mom says you're not doing this you're not doing it you know so she's very close to her mom um she listens to her mom and you know it she's that's just something to look out for you know hopefully and what i get so far is the mom is very fair they're very because you know i have to adjust this card with the six of wands both you know balanced cards and you know the mom herself is very successful so um i feel like you and your you um are a, a successful individual yourself watching this and if you haven't hit that success place just yet uh you're gonna get there let me just quickly light the incense again um because i forgot to light it um gonna do whatever it does anyways so you you know this person you know is going to be very good for you and they're going to help you release your ex if you're you know like you may meet this person before your ex comes back and they help you put closure on your ex or like i said we all have free will but like i said depending on what it is you choose your path it's you, you know we have the path card um at the bottom of the deck so you choose whatever direction you want to go in if you want to re reconcile with your ex it's on the table if you want to you know move on from your ex and choose this person that i feel like will be way better for you in, in the long run then you're welcome to do so but always remember we have free will and you know we all make choices and you know if you don't feel like this is something like if you don't if you look at your ex and you're like i don't want to go back to that at all you guys may just come this person may come back into your life and you may just get closure um with that person but you do have a choice you will have a choice between two people um whether you know you're a male or female watching this you know anyways so that's pretty much what i got in the reading um i do feel like you're kind of pretty much in the same place as a lot of people right now with their love life you're feeling like everything's just kind of boring and not moving but stay optimistic um Stay optimistic about your love life you know things will get better when this energy starts to kind of start flowing again but anyways that's pretty much what i have for you today singles um i hope you enjoyed the reading and if you did please like subscribe um share and i will see you guys again soon so if you chose the white stone this is your reading so, if you picked the White Stone, we start off with the Four of Wands, um, then the Queen of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, the Justice card, and at the bottom of the deck we have the Two of Swords. Um, so, from this spread, I can pretty much see that you're pretty much like the rest of us, you're in a waiting period. Um, but I feel like you're in a waiting period in regards to a specific person that you're interested in, whether rather when the other two piles, um, the first one was more of like 
this brand new person, they were completely single, the second was more of like a choice, you have a person that you have in mind. And if you are the feminine watching this, the Queen of Wands is right here, which can be, you may be a, if you're a fire sign or resonate with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or if you're the masculine watching this and you're looking for the feminine, then this woman is the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, regardless, I feel like you are waiting from for whether you're the male or female you're waiting for receptivity from the other person like maybe you guys haven't been in contact and um you don't know what's going on in the situation or you guys could be in contact and um but it's not a lot of contact it's minimal contact I feel like at this point you feel like you know the love is unrequited you know there's no receptivity um, maybe you may be afraid and or maybe you aren't talking to this person at all like there's just this some per this this person that's on your mind right now that you really really like um, but you're not sure that they would feel the same way if, you know, they got to know you. But what I'm seeing from these cards is that this person is actually going to be really good for you. And you're going to get the answers you seek, regardless of whatever situation you may be in. Whatever person you have in your mind right now that is... You know, having you question, you know, do they care about me? Do they even like me? Do they even notice I exist? You're going to get that clarification very soon. I feel like someone is going to reach out to the other person. Maybe if you feel bold enough to take the chance, you can do. The, you can reach out to the other person, um, or maybe they may take the chance and reach out to you. It depends, um, or. You guys could just run into each other and just be at the same, the, the, the right place at the right time and then spark up a conversation. But I do feel like the universe is going to work its magic to bring an end to this feeling of unrequited love, this feeling of um, like it's not being, it's not a give or take. It's not, you know, it's not, there's no given, there's no equal give and take Ugh, talks for love of Christ. Anyways, um, but the good news is you're going to realize that things are going to balance out. So you've probably been waiting for this for a while to kind of balance out. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles, this is a situation that's probably been going on for a while. You probably had your eye on this person for a while. You probably had feelings for this person for a while. Um, and it's just been a wait. But I feel like um, with the star and the moon card uh, side by side, um, there's going to be clarity in the situation. Um, the star brings healing. The moon is a very intuitive type of card. Um, I know you probably have a feeling that some, like it's like you like this person, but you don't know if they like you back, but you have a feeling they do. Um, I feel like you have that feeling that they like you back, or they have this, you know, there's this requited feeling, um, but you're not entirely sure. But I feel like you'll get your answer. It's probably taken very long, but that period is coming to an end with the Ten of Swords. And then with the true love card, that's pretty much what seals the deal for me. This person, now here's the thing. I'm going to just say this outright. Um, we have different people we can fall in love with. There's no one person for every, for, for, you know, anybody. There's no just one person. There's multiple people, but this person, if you're looking for a long-term stable relationship with the king, with the knight of pentacles, true love, um, the star, the justice card i feel like this person has potential to give you that long-term relationship that you seek if that's what you're looking for um but you have to stay optimistic about your love life that's come up a lot and i feel like right reason why that like that's come up stay optimistic about your love life if i'm not mistaken i probably am mistaken but if i'm not mistaken came out in two piles so far um if i'm reading yours before then it is what it is but 
again, it's come out more times than not. So I feel like a lot of us are in the doldrums with this virus where we just have no hope with what's going on with our love lives. But I feel like once the energy starts sort of moving again, you're going to see things improve. And just this is one of those things where I feel like this person had a time to reflect on a lot of things. They had a time to, because the moon does indicate some flux, reflux, reflection, you know, that, that sort of stuff. This person had time to reflect on things and kind of think about a couple things and kind of sort their feelings out. And, you know, I feel like their feelings start to kind of grow for a bit. Like, you know, like they want, they're interested in getting to know you. And I feel like that interest in getting to know you is what's going to draw them to you. Now, I don't feel like they're like they're in the full I love you mode yet. Um, they may want to start off as like just friends or whatever, you know, because we do have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, but they may, it may be one of those like friends, you know, you're friends, but you're also into each other type of deal. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's not like, oh, we're friends and there's, we're not going past that line. It's like, no, we know we want to go past that line. It's just that we're friends um, for right now because we really don't want to rush into anything serious. Uh, maybe friends with benefits if you're if you guys are both okay with that sort of thing there's nothing wrong with that you know it depends on whatever you're okay with um, but I see that you are going to get there's going to be a romantic offer with it uh, the Knight of Cups so you're gonna know their intentions but I feel like um, it may start off slow it may just build and build and build but it's going to be something that where it's like you it's understood it's not going to be like i don't know where i'm at with this person no you're going to get clarity from that you know you're going to finally get the clarity you've been seeking you've been in that place of limbo where you didn't know what was going on and i feel like with the cards what they're saying is that like you know you've been in that period where you're like i you know i you're just fed up you just just wanted just to come to an end um like I said, you could be a fire sign, they can be a fire sign, regardless of what it is, um, you know, those aren't really important, but basically what I'm seeing from this pile is, um, this person does have potential to be someone you could be in a long-term relationship, relationship with, um, but you just gotta stay optimistic about everything, and, you know, you guys will need to just get to know each other and learn your tendencies because that's very important, especially in a relationship. When you, you, it's very important to get into get to know what the person get to know the person before you decide you want to commit to anything because you know they can have some tendencies that you won't like so much and you can't live with and it'll cause a whole bunch of crap. So um, I feel like with this person you'll have time to learn their you know good ways, their bad ways, everything. Um, it's going to be something that's going to be fruitful and actually very very um i feel like it's going to be very smooth um I, feel, I don't think it's going to be like a struggle um but at the same time i don't think it's going to be something that's going to be you know forced like you guys aren't going to force the emotions the love between you it's just going to come naturally um when does this i see this happening um again i feel like this will happen whenever the, whenever the energy start kind of moving a bit um, with the wands cards and the cups, I feel like you're, it's going to happen soon to some degree because wands and water are, you know, they're not, like water is not fast, but it's, it's faster than earth and wands are pretty fast. Um, and with the 10 of air bringing the end to a situation, I feel like the feeling, cause it's clarifying the unrequited love. Um, it's also clarifying the four of wands. So. I feel like you've had this feeling of like this, this like stuck feeling of like yeah this is what it is it's not that's going to come to an end pretty quickly so the 10 of air it could be 10 days 10 weeks um just you'll get that clarity and then once you get that clarity um you'll be able to make a decision like how you want to proceed with this relationship and like i said this is someone that you have your eye on um they know you're interested if you haven't said anything to this person to some degree, I feel like they they, they, they can tell that you're interested. Um, but if you haven't said anything to this person, you need to be the one to reach out. If you have not told this person like you're interested in them or even spoken to this person regardless and you have a crush on them, you need to do the reaching out and just make you know, make your intention known and I'm from what I'm seeing with the cards, you know, they may not want to jump into a relationship right outright with you, but what they will do is they will want to get to know you better. They will be interested in going on a couple dates with you. And, you know, that also helps you kind of decide whether this is something you want or not, you know. Um, but like I said, if you don't, if you're one of those people that like 
you've told them like i like you i have feelings for you they're considering it if you haven't had that discussion yet then re reach out if you've tried reaching out and they've just been some sort of way just give them time they get it they'll reach out um they they know what you what you're what you're they know your intentions so they're they'll they're just kind of trying to figure out whatever they're dealing with because i feel like they're probably dealing with some stuff and you know they're trying to get their head together once they get all that stuff taken care of they will clarify where they are at with you um but yeah this does have potential to be long term um this is somebody that like i said whatever you whoever you're thinking about whoever you're interested in um i feel like you're going to get confirmation from them on how they feel about the situation and you know i feel like you guys are going to have really fun times together it's going to be fun so thank you again for joining me if you resonated with this reading and you enjoyed it please like subscribe and share these videos out with people who may want these readings as well i hope you were satisfied with your reading today if not then feel free to choose another pile um other than that take care and i will see you soon so if you chose the rose quartz this is your reading let's get started with i want to say that i feel like you're in the sort of place with you're kind of in the same place if you chose pile one if you were kind of going back 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 and forth between rose quartz and the blue stone um it's sort of a similar message I feel like you're in your head about a lot of things in regards to your love life. Um, probably a lot of hurt, betrayal in your past. Um, people probably been flaking out, probably had people ghost you. Um, and you've just been kind of really kind of in your head because we have the eight of air and the nine of air, both in the spread. Now, if you look at these two cards, I feel like you've been healing. Um, from whatever's been going on, whatever type of situation that's really been bothering you, you've been healing from it. You've been recharging your energy. I can see from this card, the um, Eight of Air and the um, the Ace of Earth. Um, they are both in this kind of like recharge state. Um, and with this tree for the Nine of Air, I feel like you've been kind of growing out of those negative thoughts. You've been getting out of those um, little pesky thoughts that's been bothering you because if you notice the tree um, has these little fairies caught up in it. But, you know, I feel like, you know, you have those, you know, you have those moments of where, you know, those thoughts creep in there. But at the same time, you're learning to kind of grow out of those negative, negative thoughts and whatnot. Um, I do feel like there's going to be a message from somebody. I don't think it's someone you know. This is somebody probably a different background than you. Probably from a different, um, not a different background. They're from a different part of the world. Um, they're foreign to you to some degree because we have the universe clarifying um, the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, which these two cards came out in the white stone reading uh, the knight of pentacles the knight of cups and the five of wands so this person is going to be very passionate uh they're going to want to get to know you you know slowly this is probably a process that's taken a bit of a while a while you know something um that you you've probably been single for a while i think i said that in pile one as well you probably they were probably single for a while uh, you probably been single for a while um and you're just kind of like had it with it um but i feel that this person how you're going to meet this person your friends are going to help you because i have the card let your friends help you um they may be a friend of yours they may be a friend of a friend of yours they may be an acquaintance of yours that your friend knows very well um your friend may know somebody that really you know that you could fit well with and they may introduce you um they may talk about you and you know it, whatever the case may be um, I feel like a friend is going to be a very big part in your union. Um, what else can I say? Uh, this person is going to be very attractive. You're going to be very attracted to them. And they will be your soulmate. Now, we all know the thing about soulmates. We have more than one. I don't have to say that. 
um, but they will be your soulmate. They will be someone that you vibe with, someone that you can, you know, you share, you know, some sort of um, similarities with. Um, but I feel like the universe is something that's it's going to orchestrate uh, this entire thing. Um, if you're the masculine watching this, uh, I feel like this this person is a very 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 colorful, expressive person. She's very um, um, giving. She's very you know abundant because she's pouring like rainbows into this pot of I think probably flowers, gold, whatever it is. I can't see it too clearly at this point. Um, eggs or whatever the hell that is. Um, but she's um, very. She seems like she's very very. There's a magic about her she has a sort of um aura about her that makes her mysterious because she she you know she seems kind of like timid about things um but she's a very 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 abundant person she has a good heart she has a good you know a good mind um and she's very very giving and she's very very you know abundant she may also be fertile so if you're you know be careful guys uh, if you're not looking to have kids now if you want kids trust me she you, she she got you covered um but if you're the feminine watching this um i feel like this guy is going to be giving he's going to be nice he's going to be really caring and you know he's going to be very romantic on the inside very you know he's going to be very attracted to you you're going to be very attracted to him um he's your soulmate and i think one of your friends know this person very well and they are going to be introducing you to that person who um probably when all this stuff calms down um the universe you know is very much in charge of this um your manifestations are coming to fruition if you've been trying to manifest this person um i feel like you've probably been doing a lot of candle magic if you're into that type of stuff if not candle magic um, you've been putting a lot of passion into manifesting this person. You've probably been like, you know, in a place where you're just like, God, I'm just, I just need somebody. Like, what's going on here? Like, you're just frustrated. And the universe can hear you. It can hear, you know, it, it, what you're trying to manifest. And it knows that you're putting, you know, everything into it. Because, like, you know, you have calling your soulmate with the five of wands and the um, ace of pentacles, ace of earth, uh, you know, everything's just coming together. If you've seen this card, all the elements are just coming together. So everything's just coming together. Um, the universe just helps solidifying your manifestations and it, and it, I'm pretty sure this would probably been taking a while. You've been probably being very patient with the situation because, um, with the knight of pentacles, it's a very slow moving night. Um, and the universe, you know, some, the universe doesn't really have a time limit. It just, does when it wants to do when it wants to but like i said with the knight of pentacles and with the nine of air and the eight of air you know i feel like you've been waiting some time to find this right person you probably have you know been through a couple of people who you had less than favorable interactions with um and it just caused you to be in your head about the whole situation like you know like why keep doing this if i'm going to keep meeting the same type of people with these same type of problems and you like trust me i understand exactly where you're coming from it's like you know why am i continuing to you know, meet these people whatever it is like i'm i'm, you know, I'm working on myself but it's like it just seems like the situation's getting better um i feel like it will get better you know it's just the universe is in is taking control of the situation and if you you know were that person that you know kept getting ghosted you know kept getting um uh just flaked out on on some you know whatever degree it's the universe kind of pushing these people out of the out of your way because there's someone that can give you better than what you you think you can possibly have um and it's not your fault it's just what's in your vision like people like people say that well the universe is giving me better than what you think you you deserve i'm like well i don't really know where that person is like they're not in my sight if they were in my sight i'd jump on that train real quick and fast in a hurry like i, I wouldn't even have a second guess but they're not there it's just the same old same old so i completely understand where you're coming from like you don't have to like you know if you pick this pile you're probably in that mood of just like you know like there's no one here you know or or if there's there if there are people around you the choices aren't that great so you're just like you know I'm, I'm just gonna stay single you know and you and it's been that way for a while but the universe knows you've been waiting for that right person you've been patient you've been diligent you know when like it's kind of like this it's just like um let's say i don't know a better way of describing this but it's like you 
go to a cafeteria, right? It's just one of those like cafeterias, like Piccadilly, Piccadilly or whatever. If you've ever heard of Piccadilly, there's still any more Piccadillys. And they may be serving a certain food that day. And you go in and you're like, no, nah, I don't want anything to eat in here right now. Well, you will have to go in the next day and they may have what you want. Like, let's say you, you wanted tacos or whatever and they weren't and they were serving lasagna that day. And you just I don't want lasagna. You know, you, you may have to have waited. You may have waited another day, but the tacos are going to be there. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of one of those things where it's just like. Yeah, these people that you, the, the cafeteria may not have your food today, but tomorrow you never know what, what's going to happen. So I feel like it's a mystical cafeteria that doesn't have a menu. Anyways, the point is um, your friends are going to help you with this situation. Um, they're going to help you um, meet this person probably. If not meet this person, you're going to be going out with a friend whenever this crap calms the hell down. And... Um, that friend and you may bump into this person that you know you this may be one of your friends siblings i don't know so many scenarios so many different ways the universe can work i don't know um but i just know that your friends are going to be of influence if the situation um this person is going to probably be a friend of a friend or whatever but they're going to start off you're, you guys are going to get to know each other slowly kind of communicate back and forth because we have the ace of air these ace of swords and the elemental air right here there's gonna be a lot of communication back and forth with this person um again you guys will be very attracted to each other and they are your soulmate um let's see what else i got here and it's gonna be worth waiting for um and like i i that card for me is just like yeah you say that but like jesus like have you gone through what i've gone through to say it's worth waiting for um trust me i completely understand um, but when you meet this person, when you finally get a chance to get to know this person, you're going to realize that, you know, it was worth not, you know, getting the lasagna. I don't know, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was worth waiting the, the extra day. Um, but, you know, it's up to you again. Like we all have, um, free will, you know, you can choose you know, the people around you. If that's what you're looking for, it's up to you. But I feel like this is somebody that's, you know, going, the universe is going to come bring into your life. You know, they may be, you know, a cousin of one of your friends that are moving into the States or moving into the, you know, to your town that day, uh, you know, just randomly and they introduce you, you know, you, you never know. But I feel like something's going to happen to where the universe orchestrates this meeting and uh it's going to bring about this new person in your life so that's what i have for the rose quartz i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please like subscribe share these videos out with people who may be interested in these sorts of readings um please uh if you do subscribe um please subscribe uh click that notification button um the bell to make sure you're notified whenever i do post videos um, if you are interested, also, before I let you go, if you're interested in a private reading, a video reading, uh, the prices are down below in the description box. Feel free to, um, look at that. Um, but if that's pretty much it, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for coming back. Um, and I hope I was able to, you know, touch on the points that were important. I would hope this reading resonated if it didn't please choose another pile and if none of my piles resonate i'm probably not the right reader for you i apologize um so yeah thank you again for joining me and i hope you have a good one take care